Hello everyone. I think that this next lesson might give you a couple problems. So I'm going to open up assignment three, stack and roll. And I do want you to read through this, but uh, I'm going to scroll down a little bit to kind of get to the, um, the area where I think you're going to have sort of a challenging time. You're going to have to program this robot to stack these blocks, number two, this red one on top of the green and the blue one on top of all them. But when the robotic arm turns, and I don't know how much you're going to be able to see from this, but when the robotic arm turns, then that block is going to sort of rotate slightly and it's going to stack it sort of skew. It's going to be twisting them because the arm pivots to the side. What you want is you want that arm, that wrist, to rotate, to roll as it moves from side to side. So um, that's why you can see in this table where you're teaching the roll angles are blank. Now I want you to notice that spot number 2 and spot number 12, 2 and 12, are going to have the same roll angle because you're going to the same location. That's why they're both yellow. So that's going to be one calculation. Spot number 3, 13, 23, and 33, they're all at the same roll angle. That's why they're all blue. So that's going to be your second calculation. And spot 1 and 11, they have a roll angle of 0. So what we need to do is calculate the roll angle for 2 and 12 and then the three column, 3, 13, 23, and 33. So, and this is what it will look like. They'll all be neatly stacked. If you don't do it correct, um, they're going to have a slight twist as they stack up, kind of like stairs being stacked and rotated, like a spiral staircase. So, um, what you need to use on this is you, you need to find this angle, the, this roll angle right in here, and that's going to be called theta 1 and then theta 2. And to find the roll angle, we have to use tangent. So I'm going to show you in this drawing here. Um, tangent of this angle equals opposite, which is 100, and adjacent, which is 300. And so we need to find this angle in here, so we have to use inverse tangent. So I'm going to show you a really quick sample of how to do that. If you have a triangle, Oh, that is a pretty triangle. It's got to be a right triangle, which ours is. And I'm drawing mine backwards. Um, doesn't really matter which way the triangle is looking. If I know this side here, and I'm going to call this side 20, and I'm going to call this side 11, just to make it sort of complicated, and here's my angle theta, then tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So that's what we learned in your geometry class. For those of you uh, in geometry, it's amazing that you get to use this stuff. So that should say tangent of some angle. That angle is theta. Tan of that angle equals opposite over adjacent. If we want to know what the angle is, which we do, then we have to do inverse tangent. So I'm going to say inverse tangent. Your calculator has this um, button. Sometimes you have to, to click the second or shift key on the calculator and then hit tangent, and then it says tangent to the negative one. That just means inverse tangent. Inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent will give you that angle. So in this case, opposite to this side right here, to this angle, opposite is here. That's the opposite as far away as you get. Adjacent is the one right next to it. So if, for example, if going to the right is a negative number, um, then opposite is a negative, and that's fine. It doesn't really matter if it's positive or negative. So if that is a negative number, then I end up with something that looks like negative 11 inverse tangent of, I'll put that in parentheses because you got to make sure that you do this math first, negative 11 over 20. So if in your calculator you do negative 11 divided by 20 and then take the inverse tangent of that, then you're going to find out what that angle is. And if we do that, we get an angle of, my screen just went blank, whoops. So anyway, inverse tangent of negative 11 over 20 is going to give you an answer of negative 28.8 degrees. And you got to make sure that your calculator is set to degrees and not radians. So um, with a Texas instrument, if you go to mode, click the mode button, um, it should say radian, or sorry, it should say degrees and not radians. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this from the view here. I'll find out in just a minute. Um, but make sure that it's set to degrees. Now, um, so that would give me my angle. I would actually type that angle then into, let's go back to the document. That's what I type in to the roll angle. If that's my, my value, that's what would go into this blank. Well, let's look at what your actual numbers are going to be. And you're going to have to do this calculation on your own. You're from this angle, your opposite is negative 100. So in, in this situation, negative is to the left. Your adjacent 
is 300. So if you do inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent, then you're going to get that angle. And that is for position 2. That's the angle that goes to position 2. So that's, again, what you type in under 2 and 12. If we go down to this one, position 3, the opposite is minus 200 now, and the adjacent is 300. And so you do the same thing. So you can find out the angle for that. So I'm ho hoping that that helps you out a little bit. Uh, remember, you only need to find two angles. If you type those in and you teach those positions, then your blocks should stack nice and neat just like this.